As we move into the next one, HDL cholesterol, this one is so crucial. We see so many people when it comes to cholesterol talking about their LDL cholesterol, talking about their VLDL cholesterol, talking about their ratios and all sorts of this different language. And you might not know what to do. Cholesterol is a scary thing to hear about nowadays, but the truth of the matter is that HDL is the number you want to pay attention to. HDL stands for high density lipoproteins. And what it is, it's your healthy cholesterol. That's what we call it. And really why it's healthy is when you have HDL cholesterol at a higher level, it's going to go in and soften your plaque. Softer plaque moves through your arteries easier. It doesn't break off as much. And when it does break off, it moves through your arteries easier. So you're less likely to have a heart attack, a stroke, any danger. It's also going to be the number one most important thing about HDL cholesterol is it removes LDL and VLDL cholesterol from your body. These are going to be the bad cholesterols technically. So if you have too much LDL or too much VLDL and you want to reduce it, one of the best ways is not to focus on the LDL cholesterol. It's to increase your HDL cholesterol because this is the cleanup crew that goes through, takes that LDL and VLDL takes it to your liver so it can be processed out of your body. And, and the big thing is HDL cholesterol has a really big emphasis on reducing inflammation. You're gonna see a lot of these buzzwords today through all this because when it comes to long-term health, reducing inflammation and increasing in insulin sensitivity and our processing capabilities are gonna be infinitely important for our long-term health. If we wanna take our HDL cholesterol up, this is definitely one of the blood markers I really like to hit through food. Extra virgin olive oil is number one. You can't beat it. As far as foods go on the planet, it's the number one healthiest food, proven, tested a million times over. If you add extra virgin olive oil to your life, you'll increase life expectancy, you'll increase quality of life, you'll lower disease rates. Take it. Put it at least two tablespoons in your diet every day minimum. Uh, but monounsaturated fats in general, which is what extra virgin olive oil is, these are gonna be the fats that are gonna be the easiest for your body to convert into HDL cholesterol. And it really is where you're gonna see the healthiest cholesterol changes. These are things like avocados, avocado oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Lots of really good sources out there that are really gonna set you up to increase your HDL cholesterol. And then once again, you're gonna see this over and over again, low glycemic diet. If you see it this often, trust me, you need to do it. When it comes to us fixing our clients' health, a low glycemic diet is number one. It really is the first thing we look at and the first thing we do because you see people lose weight better, you see people's blood work get better, you see them get healthier and feel better and a million other things. Low glycemic diets. But if you wanna fix HDL cholesterol through supplementation, citrus bergamot is an amazing option. Citrus bergamot helps us get LDL cholesterol out of the body and it also helps us increase HDL cholesterol quickly. This isn't something that everyone should do, but if you find that you have a severely low HDL or a severely high LDL, this can be a really useful tool for basically speeding up the process we're already gonna do with food. And fish oil, once again, this is gonna be on the board a lot. Fish oil is one of the healthiest supplements that everyone should take all the time.